All right, guys, it's time to make my dog some more dog food. I make all his food homemade, and every time the food is a little different because it all depends what I buy at the store. So I'm going to show you what I'm using today, and I have two previous recipes up. I'll put the links in the description of this video so you can check out my past recipes. But again, every time it's slightly different. Uh, sometimes I use sweet potato. I don't have any of that today. I have carrots and celery. Uh, we have chicken livers. We have chicken gizzards and hearts, and these things are great. They're really cheap. Two bucks for this big pack. This thing was only like buck fifty for tons of chicken livers. Then, got some ground turkey and some ground beef. So we have some turkey, beef, we got some chicken livers, gizzards, and then we have some chicken thighs. Now this is too much, I'll probably use about half of this. And then we're going to be using a little bit of carrots, uh, celery, some egg, and then some rice at the end. So I put a little bit of water in my pan here, it's about uh, an inch or so, maybe two inches deep. And we're going to start it up by kind of making a stew. So the first thing I'm going to do is get everything in except for the eggs. The eggs are going to be the last thing because they cook, the eggs and the rice, they cook almost instantly, the eggs do. So we're going to get everything in here and what's going to happen is we're just going to let it kind of slow cook on a medium heat, like simmering. And we're going to cook it for about close to an hour, about an hour. Uh, sometimes it's done in a half hour or so, but I want to get all the meat soft. I'm not going to actually cut the meat up into little chunks. What I do is I get it all kind of into a stew and then at the end we just smash everything together with a potato smasher here. So we'll see how that works at the end. So I think with these chicken thighs here, probably just throw in about, about half of them and save the other half. That should probably be a good amount. And then I just have, actually I got a few more things, we got this turkey. And we got the ground beef. And then we have these chicken livers. All very healthy stuff for dogs. You should feed them muscle meat and organ meat. And we're just going to pour that whole thing of chicken livers in there. So now you can see our pan is fairly full. I'm going to go ahead and just get it, you know, mixed a little bit down in the water. And now we just let this sit. We let it get up to a boil and then we just let it sit and simmer for, like I said, close to an hour. So we'll come back and check on it and I'll give you guys updates as we keep going. All right, we've been boiling for about an hour now. Uh, I put another 20 minutes on the timer just because I felt the uh, carrots and I wanted to make sure they get a little softer and easier to break up. And then you also want to make sure that uh, celery is very very well cooked. You should cut it up into small pieces as well. Like I said I'm going to kind of smash it all up. But celery should never be fed raw. It should only be fed in small pieces cut up and cooked very well too. So you can see we got our chicken pieces, got our hearts and livers and gizzards in there. So it's basically like a big stew right now and we're just going to let it cook a little longer. Um, like I said just to soften things up a little more. So we'll come back for the next step in a little bit. Now we've been boiling or simmering for probably close to an hour and a half. I emptied a little bit of the water out just because I felt like there was a little too much. And what we're going to do now is just two more steps. So second to last step is adding some rice. This is going to help harden up the mixture, kind of fill in all the water space, and it'll create a more workable product. You'll see at the end what it looks like. So we're just going to add in some rice and our last thing will be the eggs. The rice will cook for about 20 minutes at most. Is, oops, paper. The rice needs 20 minutes at most, and I'm probably going to throw in, I'd say, eh, half a cup to one cup maximum. Probably about a half a cup. We got a pretty big pot here, but the rice is kind of tricky. It doesn't look like you're putting much in, but then you can end up having more than you think. So that should be plenty. Just going to go ahead and stir that a little bit. And now, I actually meant to do this before putting in the rice. But I wanted to just kind of smash things up a little bit too. So this will just kind of help the chicken and everything kind of break up. So it's okay that I put the rice in first. I mean, you can't smash rice. So we're trying to make sure all that the 
carrots and the celery get smashed a bit and then the big chicken pieces you'll start seeing all the chicken coming up in smaller chunks here's a little chunk we just want those chicken thighs that or I think they were thighs the chicken that we had to uh, you know not be humongous pieces some of the celery might be a problem if it doesn't get broken up too much you don't want to feed dogs huge pieces of celery so I might end up just kind of cutting those up right before I feed it to them. The carrots don't matter as much. It's good if they're smushed. We just want to get everything mixed together. But the carrots are safe. The celery, you do want to feed them small cut pieces. They were simply frozen when I threw them in here and I didn't cut them up first. All right, so we're pretty smashed. Looks like we got mostly, you know, bite-sized chunks. I got a pretty small dog, so, uh, I don't, didn't, didn't, don't want huge chunks for him. It'll depend on the size of your dog, but smaller chunks is better for my dog. So that looks pretty good. Again, the celery I'll just have to watch uh, and maybe cut up. It's pretty easy to pick out. So there we go. Now we just let our rice cook for about 20 minutes. Set a timer here. And then after that, just another couple steps so you'll see what this looks like after it uh, after the rice cooks up okay so this is done now with the rice we still have the heat on but actually right now we can turn off the heat it's plenty hot and we're just gonna throw in the eggs now this is gonna take like two hours to um, cool down this thing stays hot for a long time I'm gonna throw in the eggshells as well and if I had more eggs, I would even throw in more. You could throw in six or even 12 into a mixture this big. Eggs are great for dogs and it's very simple and cheap uh, you know, food to get. And the shells, again, are very good for them. You wanna break them up a little bit. I'm gonna have to wash my hands after this, of course. And now we'll just get these eggs broken and then all stirred in. And they're gonna cook just from the heat of this. This thing was just boiling. John had to stop and see if it was still sizzling a bit or, or simmering. You can see this egg right here. It's already turning white and cooking. So no problem about finishing that egg off. And we just wanna get it mixed in as good as we can because it kinda works as a thickening agent and kinda holds everything together too. So you do wanna get the eggs kinda mixed throughout, not just in a clump all by themselves. So. That should be good. And now you can see we have, once this cools especially, like a more, more like a food that you can pick up with a spoon. It's not a stew anymore. It's gonna be easy to feed. So what I'm gonna do is just take one bowl. My dog knows it's coming soon. And since this is gonna take forever to cool, I'm just gonna fill up a bowl for him. Spilled a little bit. And in a few minutes, once this cools down, we'll see how he likes it. He's waiting for it, and I know he's going to love it. So that is one of my very simple recipes. As I said, I always make them slightly different. And what I'm going to do now is throw, well, once it cools down, I'm just going to throw you know, it into Tupperwares and... I'll throw as much as I can fit in here and freeze this and then I'll throw the rest into here and put this in the fridge and then I'll just feed it out of the fridge out of here and then once this gets low I'll have a little bit left over in the freezer and I'll know that once I take this out of the freezer it's time to start getting more ingredients to cook them another batch. So have any questions let me know in the comments section and let's go ahead and feed some, to this, some of this to my dog and then we'll see you all later. Happy pet keeping. So I'm still waiting for this to cool. You can see it's steaming. I left it in there for just a few minutes and I decided just to throw it in the Tupperware. And I'm gonna still let these sit before I throw them in the fridge, but I wanted to show you how much I have. So this little container, like I said, I'll freeze it. And then this big container, it's a little bit higher than that little one and it's a lot wider. So there's more in here obviously than in there. And this should last probably about seven to 10 days for my dog. And I do feed him some other things as well, so it's not the only thing he gets. So, let's see how he likes it. Okay, so hey! So, I said the wrong word. 
All right, so here we are. My dog's here waiting for his food. And I like to make it this way, I've said in previous videos with the um, rice and everything, to make it kind of like uh, slower to eat. My dog's a really quick eater. So I threw some steak on top pieces, just so you guys can see how quickly he eats chunks. And then this helps him eat slower. So I've talked about that before. He's just a quick eater. So he'll sit there until I give him the word to go get it. He's just waiting and staring at me. So the word is okay. Okay. Let's see here. He's going to get those steak pieces right away. And as you can see, he's actually doing it slower than usual. But as you can see, the steak just gone. Now this stuff, he'll have to, you know, kind of slop up and lick up a little bit at a time. Loving his food though. So we'll let him finish that off. And again, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Happy pet keeping. We'll see y'all later.